Instant match reaction, Everton 5, West Bromwich Albion 2 at Goodison Park. What a second half performance that was by Everton Football Club and what a result. And I say second half performance because we didn't look great in the first half whatsoever. But it feels absolutely unbelievable to be able to sit down and say we weren't even, you know, consistently brilliant today because the first half was you know quite poor really and we've still come out and won the game 5-2 two premier league wins for carlo ancelotti um six goals scored hat-trick for dominic calvert lewin today making it four goals in two games for him top of the league calvert lewin top of the goal scorers it, it's an absolutely unbelievable feeling and look i know it's only two games in and we shouldn't get too carried away with ourselves but what a result that was today and what a second half performance even after coming out i you know in the second half and west Bromwich Albion getting back into the game with a really really good free kick that you know arguably we should have done better with defensively we still stepped it up again allen throughout the entire game was fantastic absolutely brilliant that first half you know there wasn't many Everton players certainly playing in that sort of defence and midfield that you could say had a, you know, a good first half but Alan was definitely one of them he was controlling the game from start to finish he was absolutely brilliant James Rodriguez James Rodriguez is absolutely world class, mate. I don't give a shit what anybody wants to say. This lad is still world class. He is a fantastic, fantastic footballer and he showed it again today. He ran the show last week against Tottenham Hotspur away from home and he's ran the show again today. An absolutely fantastic goal for his first goal in an Everton shirt. Really, really good finish at a really important point in the game as well, just before the end of the uh, first half to put us 2-1 uh, up just before half-time. Fantastic assist um, as well. Really, really good chip ball over the top for Richarlison to get on the end of. He was just that creative spark in the middle of the park. And you know what? That round then. And you know what? We haven't had a player that has got that much creativity in absolute years. We haven't got a player who you know every time he gets the ball, something is going to happen. Even if it's just a nice, you know, um, ball over the top to Luca Dean you know a nice switch of play from the right hand side to the left hand side even if it's just that you know that that sets us on our way to getting forward and to creating another opportunity and today he was absolutely world class Dominic Calvert-Lewin hat sick for Dom today and three really really good finish in regards to being strikers finishes you know the first goal again comes off the defender has to go to VAR but Dom's there to back heel it in the second goal really really good play like I said fantastic chip ball over by Hammers. Richarlison gets on the end of it crosses it in and Dom's there at the back post to put it away and the third one you know a ball comes into the box and he gets on the end of it whether it's his head or his back I don't think he cares because he's got an attic today in an Everton share four goals in two games for Dominic Calvert-Lewin another absolutely fantastic performance and like I said it wasn't brilliant throughout we can't sit here and say oh it was a fantastic performance from start to finish because the first half was quite shaky we allowed West Brom to get at us we backed off them in the first you know the opening 10 minutes the worst thing we could have probably done at that point when West Brom counter attack was back off um, Dian Garner because he is a very good player with a lot of quality and he showed that yet he mean it backs off far too much he has an effort and you know realistically I think Jordan Pickford should do a lot better to be perfectly honest with you but from that point on we allowed West Brom to get that confidence because we allowed West Brom to get into the game and to feel himself into the game and we were still doing okay in that first half in regards to keeping the ball and getting forward and we still created you know a fair few opportunities even before West Brom scored Everton could have you know been two goal you know two or three goals up Dominic Calvert-Lewin could have had four or five today he missed two headers which you know I, I think he'll say he should have done better with um but like I said, we allowed West Brom to feel themselves into that, that first half with that goal. That gained them so much confidence. Um, and they were continuing to counter-attack and trying to get back on the score sheet. They hit the post as well. Jordan Pickford had to make a really, really good save at one point. Didn't have his greatest game today, Jordan, but he did make a good save at uh, you know, one point when it was 1-0. And then, you know, again, like I said, the more the first half went on, the more you were thinking, right, OK, we're, we're sort of feeling our way back into this game here. We're creating opportunities, but we just need to be clinical going forward. Ball comes in, um, uh, comes off a, a West Brom account remember it was comes off a West Brom defender and Dominic Calvert-Lewin flicks it in Landsman puts his flag up goes to VAR and you know what I was honestly sitting there thinking this is getting disallowed this is I can just see this getting disallowed even though it's blatantly come off the back of the defender even though it's a blatant goal I can just see them disallowing this but they didn't they made the right decision they gave the goal a fantastic back heel from Dominic Calvert-Lewin gets it to one one where gets it to one one and all of a sudden we start to feel our way back into the game then the confidence and the momentum sort of switches and then that's where you've got 
an absolute world-class footballer in the middle of the park who can just turn the game on its head with one sweet strike. What a goal by James Rodriguez. I will not stop sitting here singing his praises because he is a world-class footballer and he has completely revamped this midfield. Don't get me wrong, Alan and Abdelai de Corde have revamped the midfield in having two players in there with presence who pick the ball up and break the play down. But creativity-wise, James Rodriguez has been an absolute sensation for Everton. He gets the ball. It's a fant it's fantastic play by Richarlison, by the way, to get in that position, plays it to Hammers, Hammers cuts inside and it's a fantastic, fantastic finish and all of a sudden the game's being flipped on its head after, you know, a, a quite poor first half by Everton with 2-1 up all of a sudden with two minutes to go before the half-time whistle and, and you're thinking, right, okay, you're positive, you know, we haven't had a great first half but we're winning positives. Um, then of course Keenan Gibbs gets himself sent off in an absolutely atrocious punch in the face of James Rodriguez all because James gave him a little bit of a nudge um, he punches him in the face for me it's a 5 to 10 game ban minimum it's it's disgusting it's absolutely disgusting Slavin Bilic argues it at half time um, it's a straight red card no arguments whatsoever I don't think anyone can have an argument about that one to be perfectly honest with you it's a disgraceful disgraceful show of uh, lack of sportsmanship by Kieran Gibbs awful um, and then we go into half time and all of a sudden in the, you know from the, the 35th minute to the 45th minute the back end of that first half Everton have gone from being you know, 1-0 down and, and again not looking brilliant to being 2-1 up and West Brom being down to 10 men. Slavin Bilic obviously has a bit of a discussion with Mike Dean at half time, gets himself sent off. I actually, I, I do feel a little bit for Slavin Bilic because don't get me wrong, he's got no point to argue whatsoever and I don't even know why he's trying to argue the point because it was disgraceful by Kieran Gibbs. However, you know, he he, he, did, he wasn't, didn't seem abusive, he didn't seem overly in the referee's face, he didn't seem like he was, you know, um, <clears throat> overly explicit and Mike Dean very clearly just couldn't handle that and, and sent him off. Don't get me wrong, it works positive for Everton, but I don't really like seeing that when managers argue the point whether it be right or wrong and then he gets sent off. It happened with Carlo Ancelotti against Manchester United uh, towards the, um, sorry, in the middle of last season where he got sent off for arguing the point and it's like, what what's that for? But anyway, work for Everton. Slavin Bilic gets sent off, Keaton Gibbs gets sent off and Everton go in at half time, 2 1 up, and all of a sudden the game's flipped on its head. We come out for the second half, West Brom get a free kick from 25, 30 yards out and they finish it. And they make it two all, and, and and again it's a fantastic finish. Don't get me wrong, it's an absolutely exquisite finish right into the top corner. Should Jordan Pickford have done better? Probably yes, probably probably should have covered as you know. I think for me he was far too um, central at that free kick. You know there was only one way that one place that ball was going to go, and it was in that top left hand corner of Jordan Pickford. So he should have been moved over to allow him the best chance. But after that, you know it was a little bit of a blimp. Like I said, after that you you sort of thinking, oh, is the is the momentum going to switch again? And West Brom going to start to feel a way back into the game? But they didn't because. Everton just turned it up a bit again. Alan absolutely fantastic in that in that second half as well as the first half. He he just consoles the play so much, doesn't he? You know he breaks it down. He's throwing tackles in. You know his ball controls fantastic. His passing range is brilliant. Um, he, he's there whenever you need him to be to break the play up. Abdelay Decore doing you know similar again. Uh, off the ball, I, I think Abdelay Decore got caught a couple of times, but on the ball again didn't misplace a pass. Done fantastically well. And then Everton just turned it up again. Then we turned it up again. We get the third goal, of course. Ball coming in. Richarlison with a fantastic header. Michael Keane puts it away. And then that from that point on, you were sort of thinking, right, this is going to go one or two ways. We're going to run away with it, or West Brom are. Going going to get an equaliser and it's going to be back to square one where it was just after half time but it wasn't we obviously ran away with the game and again another absolutely fantastic piece of magic by James Rodriguez brilliant chip ball over the top Richarlison gets on the end of it I think he goes for the shot cuts it across Dominic Calvert-Lewin ends up putting his uh, foot on it 4-2 um, and then you know again it's just the case of Everton attack and attack and attack and both fullbacks flying forward Hammers flying forward in full swing the midfield starting to you know again being more solid now, controlling the game a lot more. The defence didn't really have an awful lot to do with all the defence. I thought Yeri Mina was was quite poor in that first half, to be honest with you. Okay, he grew his way into the game in the second half, but I thought the first half, he, he really, really struggled. Um, and then, like I said, you know, we get the, the fifth goal, of course. Another fantastic ball in from the corner and Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Gets on the end of it for his, uh, his hat-trick. Three goals for Dominic Calvert-Lewin, four goals in two games. Another... Absolutely fantastic, fantastic performance by him. And then, you know, Everton win the game again from the, the, the third goal. Dom comes off, Hamid Rodriguez comes off, Gilfie Sigurdsson comes on. I actually thought Gilfie done well, to be perfectly honest. I thought Gilfie done well in that second half when he come on. He broke the play up when he needed to. He had some, you know, a, a couple of nice little flicks as well to set up Moise Keane and Alex Awobi who also both come on. But we consoled the game from that point on and we were breaking forward. Richarlison gets a goal. Uh, Gilfie Sigurdsson plays an exquisite ball down the middle and Richarlison fires home fantastically. But unfortunately, the flag is up and he is offside on this occasion. But again, 
like I said, considering we're sitting here saying the first half, you know, other than the last five or ten minutes of the first half, we really, really didn't play well. We've won the game 5-2 and, and we come away with it. You know, dare I say, top of the league now. Um, like I said, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, top of the um, goal scorers and, and absolutely fantastic performances all the way through. Um, but, you know, your Hammers, your Allen, your Dominic Calvert-Lewin, with Charles, and I thought that had a really good game as well. Both full-backs. Uh, defensively, I think Seamus struggled, but going forward, he done well. Luca Dean doing well again. Richarlison, again, unfortunately, he couldn't get on the score sheet, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time before he gets his first Premier League goal of the 2020-2021 season, and then that'll be it. Then he'll be in full flight, and he'll be uh, firing week in, week out. I've got no um, no worries about that. So there you go. What a, what a result by Everton. What a second-half performance to turn it up. And we're sitting here, again, saying it wasn't the perfect game, but we won 5-2 at the end of the day, and that's what... The impact of world class players and world class footballers like Alan, like James Rodriguez, like Abdelaide Decore, having a striker who is so consistent and so good in the air and, and gets on the end of every ball, and Dominic Calvert Lewin, having a manager who is just Again, absolutely a level above ninety nine percent of managers in football. That's the difference that that those elements have on this team. And and again, it was another fantastic, fantastic result by Everton. So there you go. Let me know what you think about the game in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about the performance. We'll be back with the player ratings um in a little bit. It'll be up in a probably under an hour, so you'll be able to see that one as well. Let me know your thoughts on them. Big big thanks for watching. Please do hit that like button if you have enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. Up the toffees, come on you blues. What a result. Get in five two. Top of the league, Billy can't ask for more. Up the toffees, Amazon Rodriguez, absolutely world class. Cheers for watching, see you soon.